The Pope prays for the victims of the stampede in a stadium in the Republic of Congo. Before starting, we invite you to like the video, that way you help us inform. Pope Francis has sent a telegram of condolences this Friday, November 24, due to the tragic accident that occurred at the Michael Ornano Stadium in Brazzaville, in the Republic of Congo, where at least 37 people have lost their lives in a stampede. In the message, sent to the President of the Episcopal Conference of the country, Monsignor Bienvenu Manamika Bafuokwahu Escrida, and signed by Cardinal Pietro Parolin, Secretary of State of the Holy See, the pontiff conveys his spiritual closeness to the families and relatives of the deceased. It also specifies that Pope Francis has asked the Most High to grant eternal happiness to those who have disappeared and to support the families in their pain and grief. The Pope also invites everyone to show great fraternal and spiritual solidarity with all those who suffer. Finally, the Pontiff pays tribute to those who have come to the aid of young people in difficulty. Currently, 145 people are injured. The incident occurred on the night of November 20, at a time when the country's army was carrying out a recruitment drive. As reported by local media, the accident was generated after a young man advanced to hand in his application for military admission, causing a great commotion that triggered a terrible stampede in which 37 people were crushed to death. On the other hand, today, November 24, almost a month after the devastating passage of Hurricane Otis on the coast of Guerrero, Mexico, which hit especially the port of Acapulco, Pope Francis sent a video message of support to those affected by this natural disaster, I am close to you. Pope Francis expressed his solidarity with the people of Acapulco, acknowledging the pain and destruction they have experienced. I know what you are suffering in Acapulco. I know the destruction of this hurricane, what happened to you? I am simply close to you, the pontiff said. The Pope encouraged the affected population to rebuild their community. I ask together with you that you can get up, rebuild and show the fiber that you have to restart. This show of closeness adds to the expression of support that the Pontiff made during the Angelus Prayer on Sunday, October 29th, and to the telegram sent to Archbishop Leopoldo González González, Archbishop of Acapulco, on October 27th, in which he prayed that feelings of ardent charity be increased in the Christian community to collaborate in the reconstruction of the affected areas. Let us pray to the Lord for all the intentions of Pope Francis. Praise be to Jesus Christ.